Hello, this is Byrne, and on today's episode, I'm going to demystify why some men, regardless of how beautiful, sexy, intelligent, and emotionally connected to them you are, can't get themselves to commit to you. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to another edition of BurnMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the man and the relationship you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, and silly techniques. Now, if you've ever been with a man who can't commit despite the fact that you're being amazing with him, things are working fine, he still can't get himself to commit, I'm gonna share with you the number one reason why that happens, but before I do that, I wanna share with you that there's multiple things that affect a man's capacity to commit, right? Uh, how much compatibility is between you, how much sexual chemistry, how much emotional connection, your ability to communicate without erupting into challenge, uh, all those things are important, but there's one fundamental thought behind all thoughts. It's an axiom, a statement of truth that should be self-evident, right? That he can embody that will create the opposite of commitment. So think about it. Some guys, in the back of their mind, this is not a conscious thought, have the idea that happiness, which is something we all strive for and we all want, comes from pleasure. Think about it. If you think that happiness comes from pleasure, then commitment is something you're deadly afraid of because commitment requires sacrifice, requires compromise, and requires delayed gratification. So if happiness comes from, comes from pleasure, it's easier to not commit and to think about how many women you can connect with or what you can do that day to make yourself feel happy and relaxed and fun instead of what will create long-term sustainability. So, a man who operates from this very unconscious belief <laughs> that happiness comes from pleasure is not a great candidate for commitment. And no matter how hard you try to get him to commit, in the back of his mind, commitment means suicide for him. So he won't do it, right? And he, won't, he doesn't have enough practice in this quintessential uh, habit called delayed gratification. When you can delay gratification for later, like when you say, instead of buying a super expensive car, I'll buy a more modest car, but the difference, I'll invest, and then five years from now, I'll have a lot more money. It takes discipline, and it takes consciousness to do that. And if the man is operating from a place of me, 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 now, 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 whatever I want, whatever my dick wants, then he's not going to be able to commit because he's gonna feel like his life is being constricted. Now, there's a different type of expressiveness in men. Right? There's men who have gone through, graduated through the process. We all start from a point of uh, happiness comes from pleasure, but at some point you get knocked down, you get punched, you wake up and you feel empty, or you feel lonely, or you feel like something's fucking missing in my life. What is it? And you recognize that happiness comes from meaning, not from pleasure, but from meaning. So now, that's a fundamentally different man who adopts that, right? That belief. If happiness comes from meaning, let me share with you what creates meaning. Meaning is created by a few factors. Number one, responsibility, which is the opposite sometimes of instant pleasure. You might long-term feel pleasure from responsibility, but in the moment, it doesn't feel good. It's a difference between saying, I'm gonna stay in bed for three more hours versus I'm gonna get up right now and exercise. Is it fun? No, but it's needed. I'm gonna be healthier. I'm going to fuel my body and my emotions with, I'm gonna prime my day for amazingness versus I'm gonna wake up without having oxygenated my system and my brain, right? Two different experiences. One is more fun than the other one initially, but one creates a lot more fulfillment long-term. So first thing is responsibility. Second thing is contribution. Again, generosity of heart. Doing something for others that without strings attached. Doing something for the pleasure of seeing Life become better as a result of something you did or said or expressed. Third one is evolution. Meaning is created from evolution. Why? Because when you're not evolving, you feel like you're dying at some level and you get depressed. People who get depressed don't feel like they're growing. People who feel like they're growing are far less likely to get depressed. So, meaning created by responsibility, contribution, evolution versus pleasure, two different kinds of men. This man will be far more likely to be able to contribute because when you commit to a woman for life, the commitment is not just to you or to that woman, it's to a set of principles, to the principle of showing up, the principle of telling the truth, the principle of being responsible, the principle of delaying gratification for something greater. 
The principle of one plus one in that relationship equals many, not just two. So how do you know if a man that you are spending time or maybe wasting time with is of the <laughs> meaning versus pleasure uh, thought process? Well, what is his life about? How much discipline does he have in his life? How much does he contribute? How much does he act in ways that are, despite his own interests, good for others? The more he can do that, the less likely he is to be a self-centered bastard. <laughs> the more he is contributing, the more likely he'll be able to commit to someone because that's part of his DNA, doing something not just for himself but for others. The last thing I'll share with you right now is that there's many women who are attempting to turn a mule into a thoroughbred. Yeah, you got me right. A mule is a beautiful animal, but the mule isn't, isn't designed and isn't the, the, the type of animal that's going to win races. A thoroughbred has been bred through hundreds of years to be a super strong, fast animal that's going to win races. So if you're with a mule and you're attempting to guide him through emotional puberty for him to become a thoroughbred, you are wasting your time. Allow him the space he needs to evolve into the kind of man that can offer more, not just to himself or to a woman, but to the world as well. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. If you're interested in entering a relationship that is meaningful and fulfilling and, you've, and, and you don't know how to do it, the first line in the description of this video will take you to a training that I created for you that's going to share with you specific steps as to how you can enter that relationship in a lot less time than your current trajectory. Now, if you've been watching my videos and if you enjoy this video, second thing is like, uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you, I mean, that way you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. And the last thing I'll say is if you've been struggling with entering a relationship, detaching yourself from guys who are not good for you, uh, attract, creating attraction in guys who are high quality and, and it's just not going your way and you've been watching videos and you've been reading books and it's still not working for you, you might need some help. Second line in the description of this video will allow you to apply to connect with me so we can find out if I can guide you by the hand and help you to create this result in a fraction of the time with a lot more fun. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.